Welcome to Heritage Trout Mapping on the Inland Red Band Trout. In this episode, we set out to find a creek noted by Robert Venthy as hosting a population of red bands with an uncanny ability to thrive in water temperatures reaching 83 degrees Fahrenheit. With the IPCC estimating a warming of 1.5 to 4 degrees Celsius over the century, I expect a deeper understanding of these red bands adaptations could help future trout conservational efforts. So with only a stream name and a few published sentences in mind, I load up the family for an 800 mile trip to Northern Nevada in search of this heat tolerant red band trout. the hatch we're driving along and grasshoppers are flying in the windows. Go big one in the car. Darn it. <laughs> Is he out? So we drove about 800 miles today out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> to try to find this creek. We located the creek. The problem is, is there's no water in any areas that we can access. It's, it's all dry right now. And so the plan right now is to turn back. We're gonna try to find a place to camp and I'm gonna see if I can find some red bands in another creek. I think any of the waters in this area that are gonna host the, the red band trout are gonna have that, that key genetic and life history kind of component that will enable them to survive the, the, the heat or be more heat tolerant, heat stress tolerant, I guess would be a good word. So anyways, we're, we're gonna head back uh, about 40 miles or so, try to reclaim the trip a little bit. Gosh, a lot of time and effort invested in, in this one creek for it to, to not pan out, but we'll, we'll try to make the best out of it. All right, we'll see you in a bit. With the initial destination not panning out, we set our sights on a place to camp for the night. I begin the following morning by prospecting a small creek next to camp with the strength and resolve to turn up our subspecies of choice. Look at that. There we go, there's a red band trout. That's what we were looking for. Caught him right on the lip. Yes, not brookies, not browns, but inland red band trout in this creek. That's exactly what we're looking for. Heat tolerant, inland Columbia River red bands. That is so cool. All right, let's catch some more. Here we go. 
left-handed swing shot cap thread underneath that overhanging branch. I just remembered I forgot my neck. I went back to camp for a second, set everything down, and, and walked off and left it. I guess all you really need is a stick and a hook with some feathers tied on it to catch one, but I really do like having that net. It really helps uh, ethically catching and releasing fish. So if you have a mind not to eat them and you're trying to catch and release them, it's a good thing to have a net. Anyways, I'm going to walk back and grab my stuff. So I walked back to camp and I said, I told the kids, I said, yeah, they're, these trout are really spooky. And they're like, ooh, what do they look like? Ha ha. <laughs> but I grabbed my net again and I'm gonna try to fish a little more for these spooky trout. We grab the other camera. We gotta get a picture. What kind of fish is he? That's an inland red band. Yeah. So right now, uh, got up this morning, did a little bit of fishing, caught three little red bands. I had the boys go down and take the water temperature while I was breaking down camp. And it turned out to be like 60 degrees. You know, it's it's around 9:30 in the morning, so it's uh, it's still pretty cool. Uh, but that's trout stream waters, and I bet as we get down a little bit further, things are going to heat up. Like I said yesterday, the the interesting thing about these fish is that they are very heat tolerant and able to withstand, you know, be actively feeding and water temperatures around 83 degrees Fahrenheit is what Robert Benthke um, said in his writings. But anyways, uh, I would love to spend all day here fishing, exploring, having, you know, I, this is what I love to do. Uh, taking water temperatures, we could really get, get into it deep here and have, have a good time. But unfortunately, I don't have that type of time. So we're gonna get on the road and go run down another Nevada heritage trout species and I think um, the really interesting thing to me is the heat tolerance you know we're we're supposed to warm like three degrees within the next 20 to 50 years or something I I can't remember exactly maybe I'll input that exact time frame in there and so maybe there's I'll, I'll leave you with a question maybe there's something to these this small population of fish that, that um, you know, can help answer some some conservational questions or, or some questions on trying to conserve these things for our next generation. And so I'm gonna leave you with that. And we're gonna get on the road here. Got the teardrop all hooked up, ready to go. And we will see you guys next time. <laughs>